Hi, my name is Sayyid Muhammad Shungwil Sis and I am a YHS and the business professional. Welcome to my YouTube channel and specifically to this video which I am randomly developing for all those people who are going to take Certified Fire Protection Specialist certification. Uh, this particular certification needs to have a lot of the expertise both in technical terms and in other, in, in other terms you need to also explore and needs to uh, understand how to explore the resources that are the you can say the essential part uh, for this uh, particular examination if you are the technical professional and you know everything almost everything in a fire safety perspective but if you don't know how to use the resources then you will not be able to make through this certification for that particular reason in this video I am going to elaborate you how to use the specific resources and the materials which are required within the examinations and is allowed by NFP as well so let me introduce you uh, the fire protection handbook the 20th edition which is recommended by National Fire Protection Association USA this is the hardbound hardbound book and uh, you need to uh, effectively utilize this one in your examinations within the examination center so uh, what I told you earlier is that if you are highly technical and the competent one but if you don't know how to use this particular book then you will not be able to succeed in this particular examination so let me elaborate you how you will be using these uh, books since uh, this is the volume one and uh, this another one is the volume two so this is the two volume or you can say volume one and volume two uh, two books that have been comprised of more than 3500 pages and during the examination you need to explore since this is the open book examination you need to explore these resources and at the time of the examination within your examination center so uh, does it look really difficult it could be if you don't know how to explore in the proper direction for that particular reason I am now going to elaborate you how to properly tag your these books and how to use within the examinations so now this is the volume 1 and you can see when you open it you'll be having this these kind of the tags along with this book these uh, are the separators and that have been proposed by NFPA itself you can use these kind of the separators uh, to identify different sections of your workbook so what I am going to do is I am going to show you uh, how to identify and how to properly tag your book in the first go and after that we will be continuously learning through uh, the, these visual aids and I'll be elaborating you how to use this resource book for your examination now as you can see that there are almost 20 plus tags available that you can paste on the starting of every section so for example uh, I'm going to identify the first section which is safety in the built environment and section 2 is basics of fire and the fire sciences so what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the basics of fire and the fire sciences over here this is available you can see it now I'm going to open this particular section for my ease and that is 2-1 that is section 2 so the first go I need to identify where it is exactly where it is this is the one time effort that you need to identify all these sections and after that once you have tagged all these uh, sections you can easily identify every section very much easily likewise I'm doing right now in front of you 
So I have identified the basics of fire and the fire sciences. What I can do for my ease is I will just peel that off and I can put in this way. That shows that I have identified this particular section within my book and you can clearly see this one this is the tag so this is how you can identify different sections from your book now for example if any questions arises in the examination and that pertains to uh, this particular section that contains the basics of fire and the fire sciences and you perceive the question correctly you identified the question correctly from that particular instance uh, you can now directly open the basics of the fire and fire sciences that does not means that you don't need to go through this book it is highly suggested and recommended that's what i will be doing in my upcoming videos that we will be going through the complete uh, skimming or you can say the highlights of this particular book since this 3500 page book is not to be learned by heart. Uh, if you have purchased your fire protection handbook 20th edition, you do the same along with me. Till then, I'll be tagging all those tags on this particular book for my particular usage and examination. One more thing, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel that is going to be benefited for you and for the others. Thanks for watching. See you in my upcoming lecture and the video.